I'm here at Spark and Ho Farm, home to the country's only traditional, unpasteurized, cloth-bound Leicestershire cheese. One left, that's appalling. Uh, one time, the whole county would have been thronging uh, with cheesemakers making this wonderful Leicestershire cheese. It was second only to cheddar in people's uh, desires and imagination. Um, at one point, it started off in the 1600s. At one point, by the late 1700s, there were th hundreds of producers. And the town, Leicester itself, had a cheese fair um, every year. Major cheese fair. It had a market, permanent cheese market. And the town crier, every week, would have called out the names of people making inferior Leicester cheese. And at one point, there was even a riot around Leicester cheese. It all kicked off when a few people, hungry they were, times were hard, they tried to nick some of the stuff. 4,000 people all kicked off in the town centre. The, probably the only time that a riot has in, been inspired by cheese. So if we thought times were hard back then in the 1700s, they're even worse now for cheesemakers. Only one uh, left. This all happened largely because of, of, of rationing and the war. Um, the, the, there had to be the national cheese, absolutely necessary at the time, but unfortunately it decimated farmhouse production. And by 1956, there was only one producer left and then bang, none, gone, that's it. The traditional uh, Leicestershire cheese was just a memory until 2005 when the Clark family, Joe and David Clark, uh, decided to save their farm because um, farms were scaling up and, and it was harder to keep pace with just the bulk milk market and they just turned to cheese but what a wonderful thing they did because they've helped preserve some of our heritage so what's so special about red Leicester cheese well if you're in here with me you would know the smells are just fabulous they're everything from wild mushroom there's a hint of gaminess in the air uh, we've got there are sweet smells it's olfactory heaven in here it really is uh, so Red Leicester cheese, millstone in shape, they always were, about 20 kilos. These are about 10 kilos. They occasionally make a 20 kilo cheese at Spark and Ho. So it, distinct shape, its own shape, and it would mature in a particular way. Generally, it's younger appreciating or uh, aging than, say, cheddar. Maybe between, enjoy between 6 and 12 months old, but they will go older. And my God, they get good when they do. Excuse my expletive there, but I'm excited. The milk comes directly in from the parlour, where it's heated to about 30 degrees. Then the starter cultures are added. Those are the bacteria that help acidify the milk, the curd, uh, and then the cheese. Uh, and then the annetto is added. That's the food colouring, the traditional food colouring for Red Leicester. Uh, it stains everything, even your fingers, I found out yesterday. Uh, once that's been added and the milk has settled, you add the rennet. That coagulates the milk into curd. Then the curd is cut. It's stirred for a little while, it's then heated, scalded, not actually that scalding, it's about 38 degrees it goes up to. Then it's drained off into the draining tray. Once in the draining tray, the whey is released from the curds, and then the curds are cut into blocks and stacked up, and that helps to, again, increase the acidity in the blocks. Then the blocks are milled, then salted, and then finally these milled curds are popped into their moulds, and pressure is put on for a day or two. Uh, they're turned, uh, and then afterwards they're released, and then they're larded. Um, well, they're cloth bound and then larded, then popped into the cellars behind me. We've got some lighter, younger ones here. We've got some that are a bit older. These are just a few days old here. In fact, there's one over there that I helped uh, mold yesterday. There you are, traditional Red Leicester cheese in the way it used to be, in the way it should be, and the way it could be in the future with your help. If you support not only Spark and Ho, but your artisan cheese producers, you'll have to try a little bit harder than your usual shop for them. Go to Cheesemongers, go to Delicatessen, go online, Google your county, Google Cheesemaker, and maybe make a little trip out to them. You'll get to meet some lovely people, blessed are, and all the rest of it. Uh, anyway, there we are, Red Leicester cheese, uh, one of our territorials in a nutshell. Come back and enjoy uh, more of these cheese tastings, and there we are, more plugging promotion at Francis Gimlet and all that. Thank you.